welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be fun to show what is in my pencil case. Currently I'm taking a gap year and I love making those what's in my backpack videos but I don't carry anything right now so I figured it'd be also just an overall fun video to show you guys what's inside and also share some of my stationary favorites. So this is my pencil case. It is from Muji. The first things that I would like to talk about are these guys. I love these super skinny highlighters. These are from the brand Tonga and these are the Hexa Slim Liners. They come in a bunch of different colors and the highlighter in itself is pretty pigmented so that's just something to keep in mind and it does bleed through some thin paper that's the only minor thing that I have to say but overall I really like how these are super thin if you have really small handwriting it's like the perfect highlighter on top and I've been using these for like a year now I got them over in Korea so really great and I highly recommend Next we got these pens. These are from the brand Monami. I have them in red, black, and blue. I feel like these are equivalent to like the Bic brand pens where you have like the ballpoint tip, the cap, and you are just like writing at a local bank, like those kind of pens. But I really like these because I like the clicking kind of thing. These are in 0.7. I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm taking notes, I love when I flip the page from writing a bunch of notes and feeling kind of like that braille feeling from like the hand pressure I had from these pens. These are the types of pens where you sign legal papers and on the back they have like that second thin sheet to make sure that they can get a copy of it as well and it bleeds through. Like this is like that type of nice perfect pressured pen whereas like a Muji ballpoint pen doesn't bleed through as well. These are great. I love them. These are like the typical type of pens that I highly recommend if you guys can get your hands on them. I have two Muji pens. These are both in 0.38 and this is the blue one. This is the black one. I like switching around my pens as you can tell. You'll be able to tell in a few other pens from now too but I really really love these. These are like my perfect standard everyday pens but if I'm not feeling Muji I really do like the Pilot Juice pens. These are also in 0.38 and I have it in black. I have a bunch of these. Sometimes I like the cap, sometimes I don't. I think that that's honestly the difference between these two and also the grip of course. This is like really nice and sleek as well but I like these pens. I feel like these are super easy to just like whereas these are like a pro tip with these kinds of pens is the ink does tend to run out pretty quickly. You should definitely just get one or two pens, buy the ink refills. Those are super cheap. They're a lot cheaper than buying a bunch of the packs of 12 or 10 of these. So if you're ever thinking about the whole quantity quality thing, the best thing to do in these instances is just buy the ink refills and just keep the same product in itself because it will go a long way. These don't budge so yeah and then in other instances when i don't like the juice gel pens i really like the uni jet stream this is in 0.38 you can clearly see that there is a pattern in here i feel like these are like my top four favorite pens i use certain pens for different types of paper for these two i really like using these two too because these don't bleed through when i highlight whereas for these because they are like juice pens they do bleed through sometimes when you highlight on top so that's just something to keep in mind. I don't know what your preference is, but some days I feel these pens, some days I feel these pens. I always like to keep a pencil and an eraser in my pencil case because you never know. I have this one Muji pencil. It's clear, it's super simple. And I also have this pink eraser, which I think I've had since honestly, like middle school. I've used the same eraser, but I've always had the refill for the eraser sticks. But yeah, these work wonders. I love this eraser. I feel like it really gets the job done. It's not like the same as like the rectangle Pentel erasers. I feel like that's the one that I'm thinking of or like the Japanese erasers where those are like really good But this one gets the job done and I feel like it's been the, the eraser that I always end up using I think it's also because I have a lot of eraser refills for this one specifically I have this product in different colors too I think I have like yellow and purple, but I always still use my pink one still so that says a lot You know, you always end up just using one or two So you might as well just get those and keep on using the eraser refills and then the last few things I have in here are actually pretty useful. This ruler, I haven't actually really used that much, but I feel like if I ever get into Bujo bullet journaling, I will have this come in handy at some point, but not recently. This is from Muji. It's super simple and it's just like a nice metal ruler. And then I have this little bookmark guy. It's a plastic little guy. I like to use this to like mark a page in my book or even like my agenda. These are really helpful. I feel like I got this at a Japanese store in Little Tokyo in LA. And this comes in like a pack of like 12.
And then last but certainly not least, I feel like these have come in handy. These go a long way too. If I ever have an instance where I need to jot something down real quick, I always pull one of these out. I stick it wherever I need to stick it and it's just the perfect little thing. Well folks, that is everything that has been in my pencil case for a few months now and I continuously use them. I hope that in this video you guys got a few recommendations that you didn't know and if you guys want to try out the products too, if I can, I will link them down below. If you guys have any of these pencils, pens, erasers, highlighters, let me know in the comments. If you also have any stationary writing utensil recommendations, please let me know in the comments too. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!